and love star people it's your girl Cherise here on behalf of Simply Hype Productions to promote that self-awareness and to promote that unity together we are stronger than ever you know I'm all here promoting the power of you you have the power to do and be and have and create and manifest anything and everything you want in your life so today I'm here to talk about mindset I'm here to talk about having a fixed mind because I know we've been told or I've been told or it's a casual thing to tell people that if you have a mindset, if you're born with a certain DNA, that's how your life is going to be, that's who you are and you can't change. Uh, people tell us that we are fixed with a certain type of mindset or a certain type of body type or a certain type of um, anything. It can be an expression, it can be in creativity, it can be in you know writing, reading, learning. But um, they never teach us that we have the power to expand. They never teach us that we have the power to grow. They don't tell us that um, we're able to improve, grow, and change through our minds. So what you are today, what you have today, who you are today is a end point or a, a I want to say accumulation of what you've been putting into your mind. So what's going on right now, your present moment, your current reality is happening or is actuality because of the things that you've been feeding into your mind. So they tell us that we can't change our mind. Yes, we can change our mind. We can grow on all levels intellectually because who's to say that your mind is only a certain level or you can only do certain things in your life? you are limitless and unending and full of potential so to have anybody tell you that you can't grow they lie it's a lie it's a lie <laughs> um you know we all have choices we all have responsibility i'm just reading off my notes here we all have choices and responsibility just wrote that down gratitude growth and green <laughs> Um, are you satisfied with your results? You know what I mean? We have to take the responsibility for our life. And I'm saying this because where, we're, where we are in our life may not be our fault or our, yes, yeah, our fault. Like wherever we are, it's, it's based on what we've learned and what we've um, picked up in life, you know what I mean, on our own. And what we have in our minds going on, which is continuing or stopping or slowing down the things that we are attracting. Our minds are so powerful. A simple thought is attracting to you whatever it is that you're asking for because you are everything. You are everything. You are your everything. You know what I mean? So are you satisfied with your results? I want to ask you. Are you satisfied with where you are in life? Do you know you can be doing a lot better? Do you know you can be waking up a little bit earlier? Do you know that you can work a little harder on your business? Do you know that you can eat a little bit more healthier? Are you satisfied with where you are in your life? If you ask... If you ask me, I am not satisfied. I am never satisfied. And that's the thing about me, like, once I get something, I always say, oh, I'll be so happy once I finally get this. And I caught myself because, why aren't you happy? Like, I always say, like, I'll get, once I get this, I'll be so happy. And then I'll get it, and I'll be happy for a second, and then it goes away. And I wanna just share that happiness is a victory. Once you have happiness, that means that you already won. Once you have happiness, it's like you are full faith, you are happy because you know that your happiness is your victory. And being able to be happy is so liberating and it's the most rebellious thing that you can do is be happy for yourself. So, change the input of your mind, you change the output of your world. What you put into your mind is what you project outwards. If you're putting good, healthy, loving, prosperous, abundant thoughts into your mind, that's what is gonna come out of you. So, um, I just wanted to share something that I heard from Zig Ziglar. He's the man, he's the man. He promotes um, the power of you, same way. You can do whatever you want to do in your life. Um, what we feed our minds determines our appetite. What we feed our minds determines our appetite. So when it comes to appetite, for me, it's like when you want something. If you have an appetite for something, it's because you want it, you know? Um, kind of like a desire for something. So if you're feeding into your mind negative thoughts of drama, negative thoughts of, you know, the things that you don't like, the things that you don't want in your life, the things, the places you don't want to go, the things that you don't want to do, and that's what you're constantly putting into your mind, that's kind of like your appetite. That's what you're looking for. That's what you attract, you know what I mean? So just be mindful of it. 
and um, somebody referred to what you feed your mind determines your appetite um, to NASCAR. And when I heard that, I was like, why would you compare the two? And then, I, and then the lady explained that NAS, when you're driving a car in NASCAR, you're driving at 180 kilometers per hour. And you have to be looking at where you want the car to go. Because if you look at the wall, you'll end up crashing. But if you look at where you want the car to go, the direction of where you want the car to go, that's where the car is going to be. So even for a split second, you lose your focus and you look somewhere else. Anything can happen in a split second. So feed your mind your future. Feed your mind what's coming up next. Feed your mind the victories that are, are coming. Feed, to my, feed your mind with the establishments that you're about to receive. You understand? Don't feed your mind on the ways you failed in the past. Don't feel, feel, feed your mind on the things of the past or anything negative that you don't want in your life. Don't focus on the things that you don't want in your life. Don't focus on the things that you can't do in your life. Focus on the things that you can do in your life. Focus on the things that you're going to achieve in your life rather than failures of the past. You know, you're holding yourself back and you're steering yourself in the wrong direction without the right focus. You need to have a focus and stay determined to your focus. Um, yeah. I think that's it. That's all I wanted to talk about. Um, oh, I wanted to talk about my personal story involving focus and how it relates to the NASCAR. Um, one time I was driving, I was an early driver. I'm not really a great driver, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna do some practicing, I'm gonna get some training up, but I'm not the best driver. And I have some stories with me driving and I can share them with some of my friends. And they laugh, like what's wrong with this girl? But it's just like, sometimes you're just in the moment, you don't really know what you're doing. But I was driving someone's car and someone's in the passenger seat, distracting me. So I'm looking at what they're doing in the passenger seat. I'm a new driver, so now, from that experience, I learned that you have to stay focused on the road. Focused on the road. There's cars beside you, in front of you, all around you, with people in them. And I was distracted, and then I started to turn my wheel this way while I was looking that way. And the car began to swerve into the next lane and almost hit a truck. And then the truck, the, the truck driver was honking like, honk, honk, what's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? I'm like, I'm so sorry. I straightened out the car. I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Moral of the story, stay focused on where you're going. Stay focused on where you're heading. You know what I mean? You don't have a fixed mindset. You do not have a fixed mindset. You are forever growing. You are forever expanding. So know that you have the power to reach unlimited potential. Know that you are unlimited. Know that where you focus and where you're looking is what you're going to get. So I was looking over that way and my car went that way, almost hitting the truck beside me. When you're driving a NASCAR, the speed that you're going and you can't really be focused on where the car is. You have to be focused on where the car is going so if you know that turn is coming up the corner you know you have to be in motion in rhythm with the path with the direction with the flow of wherever and whatever you're going where what wherever you're going in life but I'm just gonna end off this video eight minutes deep wow I just talked and talked about the power of you you can email us at simply hype that inquiries at gmail.com follow my personal Instagram at simply hype or the business crystal um, at Crystal Hype on Instagram. Much love, Star People. Much love.